Ladies and gentlemen, and in that dog that I see in the corner, that's a cute dog. Can I pet it? Will you allow me to pet your dog? Anyway, I wanted to go and do a review, an MFO review, you, I know you guys love them, on this game, The Returnal. Now this game I've actually saw, I think, when it was just a, a bunch of cinematic stuff. And you, if you guys don't know me when it comes to the games, if it's all cinematic, it's not a game. <laughs> it's basically a movie that they're saying has a game component to it. And until I see gameplay, then I'll say it's a game. But I was looking at some of the gameplay and I wanted to share it with you guys because again, sometimes you guys are aware of games that I'm not aware of and vice versa. So I want to put you on, but I'm scared. I think this game might be a PS5 exclusive. And if it is, we should all cry together as none of us have PS5s except you with the dog. Uh, anyway, let's get into it. Let's go see what this game is about. And when you guys tell me your impressions, why it falls in the comment section below. So without further ado, Skidmore Ricky, think you do. Let's get into it. All right, we're gonna be watching the IGN, the final review. I think this game either drops today, or I hope it doesn't. It's gonna tell me at the end of the video anyway, uh, what, you know, when it comes out. Let me make sure it's an ultra sexy spec. 480, what, what, 21? 60k no we, we're just gonna go with 720 because if i upload the video that's exactly what it's gonna be all right let's get it i've crashed on Atropos. all right i'm gonna bring it to 10. <laughs> i'm a snob uh certain games i do okay okay, okay, okay. i've crashed on Atropos. i survived but helios did not okay suit status operational but my sidearm is missing I'm leaving comms open. Okay. After a few hours in PS5 exclusive Returnal's first two okay. areas, I can already feel the signature housemark hooks. Before it even starts, there's a lot of information on the screen. I'm gonna be pausing every once in a while. Overload bolts, successful overloads generate energy bolts that hit too near its hostiles. Blade extension, success in melee, delayed dash, dash cooldown is increased. Oh, so she has some negatives. Is this a, is this a roguelike? It did seem like that when I was watching some of the game. He might explain it, but it seemed like it was roguelike. Like, uh, you have to finish the game in... It's like Hades. You have to finish it in a run, uh, but you get something that you collect every time that you die that makes the run easier. I think that that's what this is. Sinking into me. But whether you've ever played a game from the Resogun developers Woo! before, Returnal's heart-racing combat sequences against ever-threatening enemies are great to be in control of, and just as thrilling when finding Look yourself that. on the back foot. The time loop nature of Returnal keeps the experience fresh by introducing new weapons, enemy types, and scraps of story at every turn. There Simply put, I'm getting the same feelings that IGN's 2020 Game of the Year Hades evoked in me during yeah, Hades. It reminds me of Hades. And that can't be a bad thing. Just like Supergiant did with its Pantheon of Greek gods, oh. Housemark displays a clear love for its inspirations. Evident from Returnal's first frame, as you half expect an Imperial Star Destroyer to pass by the slowly panning stars in the sky. If the game is like Hades, I'm already in it because I love Hades. Hades actually is like one of my top five games. It's like, I really love it. Note, it's easy to spot which sci-fi series has stamped the most impact on Returnal. Love for the Alien films is as clear as those stars in the sky of Returnal's opening. Whether that be the Xeno-like creatures you fight, yeah. glowing green console screens, or Promethean architecture that registers high on the HR Giga counter. The first- I'm just gonna stop him here too. It does, the gameplay, I guess the gameplay loop is like a Hades game, but it, let me know if you guys are with me on this. Doesn't it remind you of Metroid? It really seems like a, a, a Super Metroid game, Samus and all that stuff, but it has nothing to do with that. Like, you know, sometimes the games are like just identical. Oh, actually, it may be a little bit more identical because it is a female lead, right? And we find eventually find that Samus is a female inside the suit and she's always stuck on a planet, something she crashed or something like that. And she needs to get her power ups back, you know, like, so it is actually, it's, it's very, very more similar to Metroid than I thought. And of course it's aliens. It's like, it's way more similar. It, this is Hades Metroid, super Hades Metroid, Hades 
Metroid soup. I don't know. First area I explored is a dark, wet, unwelcome part of Atropos. Incidentally, the same name as one of the Greek goddesses of fate and destiny. An alien planet littered with ruins and echoes of a lost civilization. Mm -hmm. It's hard not to think of James Cameron's action-packed sequel Aliens when here. And that's in no small part thanks to our protagonist, yeah. Celine. As a space pilot who can't escape the planet she's crash-landed on, no matter how many times she dies, it's your job to find out what's really going on here. To do yeah. that, you'll have to battle through waves waves and waves of enemies, bosses, and light platforming sections in order to discover or escape your fate. I won't say too much about the story just yet, not Thank only you. because it's best left to discover yourself, but also because even after three to four hours of time in game, it remains largely a mystery as to what's going on on Atropos. I've encountered audio logs from who knows how many of Celine's previous time loops. Returnal quickly makes it oh, clear wow. that the first loop you play is not Celine's first go at it. I've seen flash frames of astronauts and wheat fields and most confusingly so far, I spent time in a wow, PT-style suburban home in the middle of an alien planet clearing. It's moments like this That's very that weird. Me welcome memories of 2019's Control. But whereas Remedy was more interested in bringing the alien and weird into our world, Housemark is insistent on bringing recognisable elements from ours into this thoroughly alien world. Exactly as I left it. As I left it. But impossible. Finding the familiar and the wholly unfamiliar is a running theme so far in Returnal. The second biome you enter is in stark contrast to the first, and consists of red sanded desert with elements oh, okay. from the 1994 Stargate movie that I have a bizarrely good memory of, despite only seeing it once at the age of seven. Anyway, there's no Kurt Russell, but Celine must have had a hurt muscle or two along the way as this area, especially towards the end, pushes the difficulty up quite a bit. On the whole, Returnal is challenging, but from what I've experienced, it's not overly punishing. My first run lasted around 90 minutes and took me all the way to the second biome crimson wastes after defeating the first boss and only ended once i came up against the threatening new enemy i hadn't encountered yet i wouldn't say i had to play outstandingly well i've seen a couple of point, but video titles of the first boss i didn't want to look at it along the way that made life easier so that is the, the first boss right there shock waves of damage every time i jumped but all in all i haven't played enough loops yet to know just how lucky i got from this early point though the challenges feel about right Difficult, but not unfair. And having reached the second area's boss recently, I can tell it's not going to be the relative cakewalk that the first felt. Despite all of the artistic inspirations on the show, Return is still very much a housemark game. While not a twin-stick arcade shooter, instead opting for a third-person trigger-pull shooting style, the DNA of favourites such as Super Stardust HD and Resogun remains. Not only in the variety of weapons you wield, but in the enemy design too. Alien creatures will fire spiral patterns of projectiles your way that need to be danced around and dashed out of the way of, while yeah, lines exactly. of neon death spheres require a well-timed jump to avoid. It's like playing a dynamic, fully 3D version version of Space Invaders, albeit with you ironically nice playing the invader of this space in this case. Enemies may have fun you, flurries of attacks I wonder how melee leaves, you can but get. Celine also has a highly enjoyable arsenal of weapons to play with too. They feel great to shoot with, and at first appear to be fairly standard guns. A semi-auto pistol, carbine rifle, shotgun, and so on. But it's the alternate fire options on them that make them really fun. These range from like shield-bursting beams to homing rockets that, despite being on a short cooldown, really take Returnal's combat to the next level. They're also the Look best use of the PS5 DualSense oh controllers God, adaptive that triggers insane. that I've experienced yet. With a soft push of L2 allowing you to aim down sights, but a full press of the trigger activating your alt fire option. It's this sort of bullet hell pedigree and heritage that Housemart made its name with, combined with the studio bringing story to the forefront like never before, that has me so <laughs> excited to play more. That thing was waiting and eight years to kill you. Going. Early on, it appears to be combining the satisfying loop of action and discovery that Hades offered with every new run, married with a striking space marine aesthetic. The inspirations and influences are clear uh -oh. to see, but returning. Eternal is still very much a housemark game at its core, and that's what has me wanting to play, and indeed die, again and again. For more, why not check out the opening minutes of the game, and for everything else, Returnal- Yeah, see, they have, like, first, uh, like, if you, like, look up Eternal, like, first uh, thing, the first boss, I'm not gonna be looking up that stuff, not, you know, I don't want to be crazy spoiled. But, at the same time, like, if they say that it has, like, Hades elements. Now, I play Hades on the channel a couple times. I think I only did maybe one or two videos just because of, you know, the whole fear of viewership. Ah! But the whole game is, it's centered around, like, it makes sense when you die. Like, a lot of games, they don't actually explain, and that's why I put it, like, in my top five. They don't really explain why you die and go back to a certain checkpoint or something like that. Uh, 
Hades was like one of the first games to only all oh, technically Dark Souls does too. They if you pay attention to the story, they explain it, but Hades is out in the open. You're Hades son and you keep going through this loop because you're trying to escape and you're gonna keep doing it and your dad kind of doesn't mind that you're trying because it, it improves the, the defenses of the place. So this game, it starts off with she's trapped in a time loop. That's why she, when she dies, she goes back. I just don't know how they exactly do the time loop. Does she keep forgetting? And then they say it's also, it's intact to the story, which is also the same thing as Hades. So she's seeing previous time that she's died that either we have done, and I'm also assuming that story based that she's done, like the fact that there is a house on an alien planet, maybe there was a point where she landed there and was able to build a house, or maybe it's a memory that she, like, it's so much stuff that as far as a trailer goes, makes me very interested to play it. The gameplay, like the, the shooting looks fun. She has like Billy, she looks like she has melee. It looks like a fun game, and I'm not really big fan of shooters. Um, most of the time, I, I rather not be shooter, especially if it's a uh, first person. I'm not a big first person shooter. I like my three third person shooting, so I can see myself and do what, do what I want to do. Uh, but it, and then it's no similar to like uh, Outriders. Uh, I, I didn't play Outriders because I just didn't. It didn't tick for me, right? You know, there's not enough. It, it just didn't look interesting but this very looks very interesting to me but it, it is single player in comparison to a multiplayer game right so of course why folks in the comment section below let me know how you feel on this game on returnals it does it, everything i see was ps5 i didn't see well this is from ign right so i don't know if ign actually tells you uh ps5 exclusive yeah and it drops oh it drops in like eight days can i get a ps5 in eight days <laughs> No, I cannot. Um, I'll try. I'll look. Yeah, that sucks. Might be uh, might just be watching it. <laughs> might just be watching it on Twitch. But I'm surprised that they don't compare this to Metal uh to Super Metroid. Really, really surprised that there's no Super Metroid comparison. The Super Metroid is you know you have to dodge a lot of stuff. Same thing like, it's I, I mean obviously most of the time the games are 2D, but they did make 3D I think on the Wii. Metroid games that look very similar to that. Anywho, that's gonna be it for me. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. Hopefully, we'll get a PS5 eventually. Maybe we'll play it. Uh, I, I haven't looked for a PS5 in a long time, so I eventually I want to play the Ratchet and Clank game. Maybe do a run of Demon Souls and stuff like that. And I could show that to you guys because definitely Demon Souls. I feel like how much memories in that game, man. But the new Ratchet, I definitely want to play. And I just want to have the new console for the channel so you guys can enjoy some newer games that are coming out and not just be screwed over by the fact that I don't have a PS5. That's going to be it for me. And just remember that every day at the Cash Game is your lucky day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.